Hello everyone, happy evening, a very good evening. I hope and I believe all of you are doing well. Uh, so all the FMG students who have appeared for the exam today, I hope the exam has treated you well. There has been like any exam, there has been a mixed response from the students on how the exam was. And surprisingly, right, the part one seems to be easy today as uh, compared to part two, right? But I hope that at the end, what matters is all of you have given your best shot. That is the most important thing, right? Uh, great. So see, we have mixed reactions here in the live chat itself. Uh, you know, there, there's someone saying it was good. Then koi kera intermediate or koi kera ki, you know, bilkul achcha nahi tha. Right? That's great. See guys, uh, many of you might feel post exam ki, you know, pata nahi kaisa tha paper difficult tha, hoga, nahi hoga. But trust me. Uh, do not jump to any judgment till your results are out. You know, I've had so many students in the past who feel that nahi hamara nahi hoga, but they do it with a very good score, right? So just wait till the results. And so today here in this session, we are going to uh, do the radiology recall questions. The purpose of this recall session is not to, you know, basically decide ki what exactly is the right answer or something because the recall is based on memory, but the purpose is to learn right learn the concept behind the question that was asked and learn that what are the questions that can come in the upcoming exams as well be it neat pg or be it inict yes so uh, everybody here i hope all of you uh, you know uh, have done well in radiology Okay, so let's have a look at the questions guys and if there are any questions that you think are missing, please do let me know and if you think there are any corrections as well, please let me know on that as well. Okay, so and, and for the students who are going to start prepare for the next FMG exam, uh, here's a good news for you that, uh, you know, for a limited time period, we have this elite plan which is available at additional 3000 off. So, right, make the best use of this opportunity and we'll be cracking FMG together. Right. So this is basically the disclaimer here, starting with the questions. Uh, tell me that was this a question asked in the exam? Which of the following methods is used to measure uh, fetal anemia? Right. So this is something which is again favorite with the examiners in the recent years that we have seen. Uh, fetal anemia, yeah, parte or RH negative mother maybe when you read obstetrics. Correct. So uh, for fetal anemia, absolutely right. Correct narration is going to be peak systolic velocity in the fetal MCA that is looked at. With the fetal anemia, what happens is the velocity of the blood increases. The blood is less viscous. So the flow increases. So the peak systolic velocity in the fetal MCA is going to increase. Right. More than 1.5 multiples of median when it goes beyond that, that is when you have fetal anemia there. Okay. So remember, it is PSV in the fetal MCA that is looked at when you have, um, you know, you are suspecting fetal anemia. You know, I personally remember, uh, you know, having a, a, a case, a patient where the patient had, uh, you know, parvovirus uh, antibodies positive T and there was hydrops fetalis, you know, that parvovirus causes non-immune hydrops fetalis and, you know, we used to monitor the fetal MCA PSV to look for the degree of the anemia as well. Okay, so remember for fetal anemia, it is MCA PSV that needs to be looked at. Is this clear with everyone? Right? Okay, going on to the next one. Was there another question there in the exam? A patient with a history of breast cancer who underwent radiotherapy now has respiratory distress and there is haziness in the left lung. With the image given here, what is the most likely diagnosis? Is it radiation pneumonitis, recurrence of breast cancer? pulmonary embolism or is it infective pneumonia what do you think is this going to be yes please do not give up uh, you know until and unless you reach your destination um remember maybe today might not be your day but that does not mean that you know you cannot do it or you cannot crack it right so please keep that burning desire uh, you know always on okay absolutely right so looking at the history and also at the image the answer is going to be radiation pneumonitis uh, because first of all remember recurrence of breast cancer hum chest radiograph pe nahi bolenge right you you're gonna do basically uh, mammography or mri to look for the breast cancer so chest radiograph mein ye to nahi hoga 
पार्मनरी एम्बोलिज्म हिस्ट्रीज में नहीं बैठ रही है पार्मनरी एम्बोलिज्म जनरली डीबीटी के बाद होता है वो वाला हिस्ट्री होता है राइट इन्फेक्टिव निमोनिया एंड रेडिएशन निमोनाइटिस द रेडिएशन लुक्स मोर लाइकली हियर बेसिकली बोथ ऑफ देम माइट प्रेजेंट विद द सेम रेडियोलॉजिकल फाइंडिंग्स क्योंकि दोनों निमोनिया जैसे हैं बट इन्फेक्टिव वाले में विद फीवर वगैरह की भी हिस्ट्री होगी राइट दैट्स गोइंग टू बी फीवर दैट्स गोइंग टू बी प्रेजेंट सो लुक एट द इमेज योर राइट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी रेडिएशन न्यूमोनाइटिस रिमेंबर एन एल्वियोलर पैथोलॉजी वट इज द साइन दैट यू आर सींग हियर विच टेल्स यू दैट येस दिस इज एन एल्वियोलर पैथोलॉजी एंड नॉट अ प्लूरल पैथोलॉजी राइट यू वुड सी दिस ब्लैक ब्लैक ब्रोंकाई इन दिस पैथोलॉजी हियर सो देर इज दिस एयर ब्रोंकोग्राम साइन दैट इज प्रेजेंट सजेस्टिव ऑफ इंट्रा पैरेंकाइमल एल्वियोलर पैथोलॉजी दैट इज बेसिकली कंसॉलिडेशन ओके सो द बेस्ट आंसर हियर इज गोइंग टू बी radiation pneumonitis okay this is radiation pneumonitis clear with everyone so guys see when when you have questions like this which look eccentric and you are not sure what the answer is so start ruling out the options ki breast cancer hum chest radiography kaise bol sakte hai recurrence to ye to answer nahi ho sakta theek hai pulmonary embolism jaise maine bataya dvt wala to ye bhi answer nahi hoga theek hai so this is how you rule out the options and you logically guess the answer do not prepare for this exams with a motto that i should be knowing the exact answer to all the questions that's never possible right ruling out is something and picking out the best answer is what you have to learn here okay is this clear with everyone yes you know uh, medico limitless you know who's talking about giving up because it was third attempt you should definitely watch the videos it is they are there on the youtube as well on how that there, there have been fmg students in the past who have cracked like after so many attempts right so those are the videos that are definitely going to you're going to resonate with them and uh, you i hope they will give you that uh, a bit of motivation okay all right clear with everyone okay so second may uh, thanks so uh, we will uh, rectify this nisha is saying ki there was a uh, lung metastasis instead of uh, the recurrence of breast cancer theek hai agar wo bhi hoga to lung metastasis ek hi side mein kyu hoga wo basis pe aap ye option rule out kar sakte ho jab metastasis hoga generally bilateral hoga preferential like ek hi lung mein ek hi jagah pe nahi hone wala hai okay so that's how you rule out that as well going on to the next question guys a patient presents with history of dysphagia which is more pronounced for liquids than solids which radiological sign is most likely to be seen right so when you have dysphagia more for liquids than solids what are you thinking of we always discuss this in our sessions right this is very very important history to be noted dysphagia more for liquids dysphagia more for solids dysphagia more for liquids basically means it is going to be achalasia cardia okay it's going to be achalasia cardia because the solids with their weight with their pressure they'll open the ileus right while when there is carcinoma a fixed narrowing through that carcinoma the fluid can go very easily right so there the dysphagia is more to solids uh, to begin with and then it's a progressive dysphagia okay so remember this is going to be what you are thinking of is achalasia if the options are correctly put here the best answer that fits in here again ruling out the option apple core you know that is seen with carcinoma okay rule out the options you know when you do not have that classical if you see that bird beak agar option mein diya hi nahi hai ठीक है अगर बर्ड बीक ऑप्शन में नहीं है कॉक्स क्रू इसोफेगस यू नो इज डिफ्यूज इसोफेजल स्पैजम तो ये भी चले गया फिलिंग डिफेक्ट इट्स इट्स नॉट अ फिलिंग डिफेक्ट पर से इट्स अ नैरोइंग दैट यू सी इन द इसोफेगस इट्स नॉट अ फिलिंग डिफेक्ट फिलिंग डिफेक्ट पर से द बेस्ट आंसर हियर इज गोइंग टू बी रैट टेल साइन रैट टेल इज समथिंग विच इज लाइक एम्बिगुअस सम रिसोर्सेज से इट इज एकेलेजिया सम रिसोर्सेज से इट इज कार्सिनोमा okay so the best answer if these are the correct options then the best answer is going to be rat tail sign okay rat tail sign theek hai clear with everyone okay right rat tail is something which is controversial like i said some some resources would say achalasia some would say carcinoma uh, right so we will rather go for uh, rat tail sign here Going on to the next one, which of the following is a primary use of this imaging modality here? What imaging modality is shown here in this image? You know, when you have this ultrasound image with this round, 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 round something here, this is basically endoscopic ultrasound image. 
okay this is endoscopic ultrasound and which is a very good investigation to stage the esophageal cancer particularly the t staging we have discussed this again uh, right with the investigations so uh, with this what happens is you are able to see the layers of the esophagus very well so it helps you to assess whether the mass uh, the malignancy is in the submucosa muscularis till what depth it has gone right so gerd particularly dekhne ke liye nahi karte hain identifying the cause of dysphagia uh, assessing cardiac and aortic pathology yes it is used for that as well okay it is used for that as well like it helps you to see the left atrium ka thrombus it helps you to see aortic dissection as well but particularly if i have to choose between the two options i have these two options there and i have to choose uh, then uh, it's going to be staging of esophageal cancer that i would go with okay going on to the next one what is the most likely diagnosis again if the image is correct rule out the options okay rule out the options hydrothorax pleural effusion agar options mein hai which is less likely ki shayad the options ho kyunki both of them mean the same thing okay hydrothorax is water pleural effusion is water and where does it show up first on the chest radiograph it's a blunting of the cp angle that you are going to see right you are not seeing the blunting of the cp angle here rather you are seeing the bilateral symmetrical opacities here like the bat wing appearance which is seen here and that is why the answer is going to be pulmonary edema okay the bat wing appearance that is pulmonary edema is this clear with everyone if there are any inputs on the options here please let me know so that we can rectify that if anybody remembers what exactly was the options please do let me know okay but looking at the current question the current options and the current image the best answer that fits in here is pulmonary edema which is bilateral symmetrical right more so perihilar central area mein opacity hota hai that's the bat wing appearance of pulmonary edema okay that's the bat wing appearance of pulmonary edema is this clear with everyone okay cardiogenic pulmonary edema koi bhi pulmonary edema ho theek hai cardiogenic pulmonary edema hum wo likh dete hain cardiogenic pulmonary edema okay so it's it's cardiogenic pulmonary edema okay uh hiatus hernia was there in the option okay so uh, one of the options was hiatus hernia in that you see retrocardiac opacity with air fluid level uh if in your this question which was achalasia wala agar usme options mein smooth filling defect irregular filling defect aisa option tha aur rat tail tha hi nahi so then you will go for smooth filling defect right but agar smooth filling defect aur rat tail dono tha to then you will go for rat tail okay सार्कोइडोसिस भी था तो कौन सा ऑप्शन इसमें से नहीं था सी सार्कोइडोसिस अगर था आई डोंट नो व्हाट एक्जैक्टली व्हाट द इमेज वाज दे विल शो यू द इमेज ऑफ बायोलैटरल हाइलार लिम्फ नोड्स ओके इन सार्कोइडोसिस इफ दैट वाज देयर कि बायोलैटरल या फिर राउंडेड राउंडेड लिम्फ नोड्स से सो देन इट इज गोइंग टू बी सार्कोइडोसिस बट यहां पे अगर ऐसा इमेज था तो देन इट्स गोइंग टू बी पल्मोनरी एडिमा ओके ऑल राइट going to the next question here guys a uh, 70 year old patient the image itself is a giveaway here even if you don't read the question you know so learn the trick of whenever you are reading the question the first thing you look at is the options if it's a image based question you look at the image first because if it's a spotter image you can directly diagnose it it is going to be sigmoid volvulus with the coffee bean sign that you are seeing here right so this is the sigmoid volvulus with the coffee bean appearance that you are seeing here this is sigmoid volvulus Okay, sigmoid volvulus. Acha, height is there? Nia, wala, wo endoscopic ultrasound wale me tha. ठीक है. Right. So uh, these are the questions that uh, I have received from radiology guys. If there are any other inputs, any more questions that you remember, please do let me know. Like one of you was saying that ki uh, uh, shy the saying laryngotracheobronchitis, steepal sign wala bhi image tha. right so you have this narrowing there if it's a ap view that's a laryngotracheobronchitis steeple in epiglottitis it's a lateral view and you see the thumb sign theek hai aur kuch ha i know that you know actual exam mein images thode se different or eccentric hi hote hain
right any other input uh, what's there a question on uh, one whether it's a ivp it's a rgp uh, it's a mr urography aisa koi image based question tha identify the investigation right so i'll just tell you the trick on how to identify that again we have discussed this in our videos right so ivp generally you give the contrast iv right so the iv contrast goes in both the kidneys if you are talking about a normal person with both the kidneys normally functioning so you would see both the pelvic calicial system the ureters and the bladder if it was a image which is showing only one side ka pelvic calicial system right and yahan pe pelvis mein you can see some catheter some cannula here from the ureter it goes into the pelvic calicial system if only one side is shown then it is rgp agar dono side wala dikhaya hai to wo hai ivp ठीक है ये दोनों कॉन्ट्रास्ट एक्सरे इमेजेस हैं तो इसमें यू वुड सी द वर्टेब्रा आल्सो वाइल इन एमआर यूरोग्राफी दैट यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू सी एनी बोन्स राइट बोन्स आर नॉट सीन इन एमआर यूरोग्राफी सो दैट्स बेसिकली द ट्रिक ऑन हाउ डू यू आइडेंटिफाई आईवीपी आरजीपी एमआर यूरोग्राफी इफ दैट वाज द क्वेश्चन देयर राइट सो दीस आर द क्वेश्चंस दैट आई हैव रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम रेडियोलॉजी राइट अगेन वी आर सीइंग दैट रेडियोलॉजी के ना अभी ऐसे एकदम से डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चंस नहीं आते दे आर ऑल क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चंस Uh, right which which makes the question looks complicated but if your concepts are good you understand the black and white of radiology well right then the questions are very much doable okay so uh, that was about radiology guys all the very best for your results and i'll be uh, waiting to hear from each one of you my best wishes and prayers for each one of you that you clear this exam and for anybody who will be starting you know not not for the students who have appeared today but for other students the next batch who are going to start uh, uh, preparing for the upcoming fmg exam please make the best use of this uh, limited time opportunity where you will get the elite plan at additional 3000 off uh, right so this is a limited time uh, uh, opportunity so please make the best use of that and again my best wishes and prayers are with each one of you for great results All the very best guys and uh, have a great day thank you so much i'll see you again soon till then goodbye and take care thank you so much